The shoebilled stork, also known as the whalehead, or simply the shoebill, is an enormous stork-like bird that looks completely made up by rogue scientists somewhere, or like a weird, horribly made Disney Jungle Cruise animatronic that never quite made the cut. But they're actually real, and they live in African swamps from Sudan to Zambia. They used to be classified in the order Sikoniformes, which includes storks, as well as herons, egrets, spoonbills, and the like. But have recently been classified in the order of Pelicaniformes. <laughs> and although that sounds like a pelican only club, the order actually includes all birds that have feet, with webbing between all four toes. However, spoonbills don't have web feet. They have more stork-like feet that allows them to stand on floating vegetation. Being in this order also means that the species included have nostrils that through evolution don't work anymore, which means they have to breathe through their stupidly oversized mouths. Their bodies are sort of a weird mashup of a bunch of different species. They have the mouth of a pelican, the legs of a stork, the perpetually pissed off brow of an eagle, and the voice of an angel. The shoebill's preferred meal is the lungfish. In case you don't know what that looks like, here's a clip of one repeatedly punching a shoebill in the face. They also eat a variety of other fish as well small amphibians and reptiles, such as baby crocodiles. And although it's rare, they have been known to eat small rodents, and even some pretty decent sized birds such as ducks and other waterfowl. Shoebills are large birds and can get up to about 5 feet tall, with a wingspan of about 7 to 8 feet. The adults are a silver-gray color, while the juveniles tend to be a bit more brownish in color. Shoebills are great hunters and hunt similarly to top African predators. Their slow movements allow them to sneak up on their prey. Then they strike at a surprising speed and with their powerful pelican-like bills and the help of the sharp protrusion on the top of their beak, they can decapitate their kill fairly easily. They tend to be pretty solitary birds, and that includes their breeding habits. While most birds in their order nest in colonies, shoebills like to keep their nests separated from each other. Their nests are made of aquatic vegetation and are free floating as well as partially submerged under the water. The male and female share the work of raising the young, and they are known to usually only have one egg but can have more for a better chance of survival. Although sometimes the stronger sibling will kill the younger, weaker siblings. The fledglings learn to fly around 115 days after being born and don't become fully sexually mature until around three years of age. Populations have varied through the years, and there are still quite a few in the wild, but there are definitely less than there used to be due to, of course, human involvement. These birds are declining from hunting, nest disturbance, and burning or modification of their habitat. But, silver lining, there are conservation actions in the works to help raise the populations. Overall, the shoebill is one of the most unique and distinct species of birds out there. I'm sure they're not as dumb as they look, and in my opinion, they're the best proof we have that birds are descendants of dinosaurs.